I'm so excited to be here today with the Chief Engineering Officer of Priority Power, Kevin Young. Kevin has overseen the development of hundreds of millions of dollars worth of infrastructure projects, and he's got hundreds of millions of dollars of infrastructure projects in production right now, in some phase, one phase or another. Kevin, I'm gonna dig right in. What's been the biggest change in infrastructure in the past, say, 24 months? Thanks, man. That's it's a great question. I can say that's a pretty easy answer from my perspective is we, we have seen demand for infrastructure um, like we have never seen it before. The infrastructure that we have in development, in construction, in our pipeline for future construction is, is larger than we've ever seen it. It's, it's really, it's a situation where the demand for infrastructure is really outpacing um, the ability for companies like ours to deliver it to our clients. Off that, Kevin, why, why are so many people coming to priority to develop infrastructure at this moment in time? What's changed? I think that's a great question, Matt. I think um, from my perspective, I think it's um, our name is known. Priority Power is known out in the market. They know that we have a large number of experts in infrastructure development, not just developing it, designing it, engineering it, but also constructing it, um, managing projects that are that are perhaps in the past were only um, developed by the utilities. We have clients now who are building very, very large private infrastructure projects who um, who whose assets cannot be developed by the utility. And so they're coming to us as Priority Power to help them with those really um, large projects, expensive projects, and, and sometimes very complicated infrastructure projects. Now, I'm not gonna ask for any names here. How many projects do, do we have right now in the ground or in some phase of development? I think that's a great, another great question. Um, I think right now as we speak, we have uh, roughly 80 projects in one stage of development or another. Most of those are in late stage development, meaning early stage construction. That's not our pipeline, that's not our engineering um, projects, but those are actually in some phase of construction. And we're talking about infrastructure. For instance, to me, I think of solar, I think of wind, I think of microgrids. What other kind of infrastructure are you developing? What kind of infrastructure are you seeing demand for that maybe we haven't started developing yet? Sure. So, so I, I think of infrastructure similar to you. We, we have um, generating assets. We have um, traditional high voltage, medium voltage electrical infrastructure. These are like the big transmission systems you see driving across the, the state, um, driving across the country. The um, medium voltage, the, the shorter, uh, uh, smaller uh, structures and wires, as they call them, conductors, as we say in the engineering field. We have those, but we're also developing what I would say, um, um, well, they're SCADA systems. We're developing um, supervisory control and data acquisition systems that actually help us manage the infrastructure, not just, we're, not just the, the hard infrastructure that's out there, but the actual infrastructure that's used to manage that infrastructure. That's also what Priority Power is building. We're very good at that. We've got two recently, um, recently commissions net network operation centers that we are managing over 40 today, soon to be 50 or 60 high voltage substations and um, 100 uh, medium voltage assets that are uh, owned by our, by our clients and sometimes by us um, on behalf of our clients.